everybody, it's old Shaziz here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory. I'm always telling you uh, to uh, save uh, different uh, things. And uh, I told you that if I come across anything that I would uh, make a video of it and share it with you. Uh, these particular motors right here are quite interesting. They're made by a company, and I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing it right because uh, over the U's, like these little uh, dots. And so I, I believe this is like German or something like that. It says uh, Bueller motor, and I can't even read, read the other part, but this is a 24 volt DC uh, electric motor that came out of a Epson uh, uh, copy machine. Let me see if I can get that label on there. You can read it. Maybe you can pronounce it better than I can. Err, don't look like it's going to be very clear. Let's see if I can get it in here a little closer. Anyway, uh, this little little motor come out of a uh, Epson uh, copy machine not exactly sure what it was in there for because I didn't actually personally take it out myself but uh, buddy of mine uh, he saves things like that for me as well um, it's marked clearly right on the on the side right here I don't know if you can see that there's a plus on that side and there's a uh, minus on that side so you know where the positive and negative is right out of the gate that's pretty simple but uh, what I like about it is um, I got this belt on here because I'm going to try to put it on my uh, electric motorcycle that I'm working on anyway uh, just to run some extra lighting systems but <clears throat> if you if you watch this all I got to do is barely flick my uh, finger across the uh, little wheel that's inside of here just a little flat wheel that's why I got this little flat belt for it but what I was thinking, you see how bright that thing is, just just barely flicking it. Let's see if I can flick it a little faster. See that? But uh, this is just me running it with my finger. And so I thought that's pretty impressive little uh, pretty impressive little motor right there uh, that you can turn right directly into a generator. You could uh, take this little black uh, housing off if you like and uh, make your own uh, kind of wind turbine or something like that. And uh, basically you got a ready built windmill right there or maybe put a water wheel on it for uh, you know some hydroelectrics. But uh, you know I'm always talking about uh, saving things like uh, fish tank air pumps because the coils in them are ready made and all you got to do is build you a flywheel system for that. I uh, don't know if you ever saw the video that I did uh, let me get this down here. Ah, driving me crazy. Got things all cramped up. I don't know if you ever seen my mini generator video, but that was made out of uh, one little U-shaped coil, a uh, motor out of a 12-volt uh, uh, cordless drill, and so you hook that to the battery, and it produces electricity out of this. Uh, I'll pause the video and go get a little uh, light and I'll show you how this thing works. Hang on for a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, what I got here, I got a little uh, uh, mini generator that I was explaining to you a second ago. Uh, it's made out of uh, some neodymium magnets and some two-part epoxy resin inside of a, uh, a peanut butter lid. It also is uh, made with a cordless drill motor and a little U-shaped coil out of uh, a, like an old bell or old buzzer. Anyway, I want to uh, show you this thing work. I'll hook it up to my battery over here, and you'll you'll get to see the light come on there. That's a pretty nifty little deal, man. And like I said, it was just made out of junk. And I, I've, I've, I'm always telling you to save, uh, save different things. I don't know what I did with it. There it is. Yay! <laughs> anyway, this—I uh, told you if I find anything cool that I'd show it to you. But these little 24-volt uh, motors, right here, they come out of Epson printers or copiers. 
and uh, they're worth holding on to because uh, you can see that uh, I'm going the wrong direction or something you can see that just by just by flicking it with my thumb I can get a lot of power out of that thing you know so it's definitely enough to cha uh, charge up a battery system if you have uh, if you have a wind turbine or something on there or some sort of wheel for uh, hydroelectrics anyway it's uh, once again the uh, name on there it's it's spelt to me Bueller B-U-H-L-E-R motor company or motor gritch or something like that uh, just just uh, type in uh, Bueller 24 volt DC uh, uh, motor and you'll you'll come across them. I found a couple of them on uh, eBay, but uh, didn't necessarily like the prices of them. <laughs> but anyway, you can get this kind of stuff for free whenever people start throwing away stuff. Uh, and so this is a good find as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to use this particular one and uh, add it to my electric motorcycle so that I can uh, use it to generate tail lights while it's rolling. So you know if it'll do that. Uh, just being flicking my thumb on the across the wheel there then it ought to do really good as far as uh, ew, if I'm really driving down the road with my electric bike anyway I wanted to share that with you not much of a <laughs> ah, to me it's a good find but uh, save a lot of things save your old cordless drill motors and any permanent magnet electric motor that you can get your hands on like this they come in all kinds of different things and uh, if you need any help on uh, designing one of these little gizmos right here, there's nothing to it. It's just out of a cordless drill. It's a 12 volt uh, motor out of cordless drill and it puts out over 120 volts AC enough to light up that uh, little night light bulb which is probably uh, I'm guessing either 15 or 20 watts or maybe 25 watts. It's, but it does the job. It's a uh, little uh, mini generator. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's about all I got for that for today. Uh, but keep your eyes peeled for some of these motors right here. I'm going to be saving them myself and making me some uh, wind generators and stuff like that out of them. You know, if you got one on each side of your uh, property there and wind blowing all the time or whatever, uh, a little water wheel going on, you're still putting juice back into your battery bank. If you notice over my shoulder, those li that whole entire lighting system back over there, that's all ran on solar right now. And it's just a little 45 watt panel that I got out there at the uh, uh, Harbor Freight Company. And uh, the charge controller. Ew, I don't know if you can see it very good over there. Ew, do, 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 do. Anyway, the charge controller is right over there. I got three lawn and garden batteries little uh, basically tractor batteries that you use for your riding lawn mowers and you can add as many of those to the bank as you want and they'll last quite a long time once you get them charged up and like I said that thing's out there it's giving me free electricity and I don't have to do nothing with it if the power goes out I still got lights so like I said before if the apocalypse happens and the uh, Lights go out at your house, just come on over to the Shaziz's house. It'll be the one with the lights on. Peace and love, everybody. <laughs> Take care. Hello, everybody. It's old Shaziz here. I have to talk quick. I want to do a little quick short addendum. This is a little Sterling engine that I wanted to revisit because the last time I was trying to talk about it and show it, uh, the video didn't come out so well. I just basically got it started warming up and uh, it'll start getting louder here by the second. Let me see if I can bring my camera in closer so you can get a better view of it. But uh, I wanted to revisit this since I was talking about things to save the new uh, energy generation. Ooh, let me see if I can get a better view. Ah, there we go. Yay! It's probably going to be too noisy for me to talk. But once that thing gets up and running, 
it uh, got a little generator built on it. Uh, Starting to slow down. Must have lost my heat. Ah, red. Anyway, while I'm waiting for that to heat back up, there's a little jar of alcohol. It has a little uh, air chamber inside there that uh, when the air heats up, it expands and pushes the piston out. And on this opposite side right here, it has a uh, exhaust port, basically lets cold air back in. So this uh, Stirling engine works off of uh, uh, heat and hot, and air, hot air and cold air expanding and contracting. Let me see if I can get her going again. Run long enough, maybe she'll get the uh, generator going. <clears throat> but anyway, that's a simple motor, been around for a long time, and so I want to kind of revisit that with you. Um, I'm going to shut the camera off for just a second and let it uh, build up the speed so you can see the little generator going. Well, you can see now uh, it's just got up to temperature now, so uh, the little mini generator there is done. But uh, it's a real simple concept, a real simple uh, deal for producing uh, electricity. So, worst case scenario, you could uh, use this to charge batteries up as well. You know, it's a, this is a little mini model prototype that you can buy online, fairly reasonable. I guess it cost me about $70. You know, it sounds kind of expensive, but it's a really cool toy. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to shut this down so I can finish talking. Ugh. Notice after, after it goes off, it'll still run for a little bit. Yay! Anyway, that's a Sterling engine. Of course, that's obviously not my design, or it would be called a Sterling engine, but it's just something I wanted to share with you. I, I did a video a while back about Sterling engine and the steam engine, and the steam engine didn't work so well because it had leaks in it, but uh, my future son-in-law done fixed it up, and so we'll get a video out about that one as well. But there's all kinds of different ways in which you can produce uh, electricity, so these are the things that I'm trying to bring to you that uh, are you know simple solutions to uh, basically putting free energy into your pocket alrighty then let me uh, get that camera back up there uh, can't reach it yay okay <laughs> well anyway uh, I kind of went over a little longer than I thought it was but uh, that's a little sterling engine that I wanted to share with you once again revisit that kind of deal and then I was also uh, wanting to show you this little magnet here real quick do 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 I'm working on some really cool ideas with uh, magnet magnetic levitation and all that kind of stuff but uh, let me see if I can get this on film right here uh, yay little pill bottle magnet floating in there so ah anyway that's not very impressive because you've seen magnet uh, magnetic levitation before but uh, I'm working on some ideas with that right there and uh, I got some cool videos on the way to share with you along that line and uh, see the whole deal is is that this little pill bottle right here is keeping it forced in the certain spot of the field where it's allowing it to levitate and so they've already figured that out of course you've seen the little UFO toys with a it's sitting there floating on the deal but uh, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to uh, electronically do that same process and there's a lot of cool things that can come up out of that so anyway that's all I got for today just want to share a little bit of stuff with you ah peace and love everybody Take care.